Hi all, Henry Lynch here. Uh, today I'm going to show off something which I don't always use because there's only so many scenarios you can use uh, something like this imagery tool. Uh, but where you can uh, in a scenario like this where uh, you can use it in either more illustrative ways or you can use it in uh, some concept design especially for like a modeling sheet it can be especially useful um, but there are many many scenarios you just it, it would be impractical and slow you down to use symmetry but in this case I wanted to show it off uh, for how I use it to speed design something or speed paint something because obviously with symmetry it, essentially you're spending half the time on it in theory um, because you're designing one half rendering one half and you don't have to worry about the other side which is super useful and it means you create structure a lot more quickly so here I'm working in black and white uh, because it's quicker easier I can focus on design and form over color um, Sometimes I do go in and add color to images like this that I've created in black and white um, with uh, gradient maps and other means of adding color. Um, but for the most part, uh, you know, especially when I'm practicing or doing something for fun, um, I like to do it fairly casually and just use what I know. Um, so yeah, uh, this is called The Warden. I'm not sure um, what it is exactly, but it looks pretty badass if you ask me. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, some guy, he's either a, a robot or some armored warrior or mage or something. Um, I just thought it was pretty cool. The aim of this was just to, to have fun designing something. Um, and I did, so goal achieved. Uh, I also noticed that my editing software, for whatever reason, the final image you see, it seems to, once it's sort of rendered out, it seems to like blow out the contrast quite a lot, uh, which doesn't help show the true final image very well. Um, unfortunately, I don't really know how to get around that. Um, but you can always see the, the, the true final image um, on my social medias and stuff. Obviously, I usually post about my videos when I put them out, um, along with uh, a lot of other artwork. I do post on Instagram every single day, or I have been for a while now. Um, so back to the image anyway, you will see me add some glow there, which uh, is always a nice effect. You can't overuse it because uh, one, it will overexpose the whole image if you do, <laughs> uh, and two, um, the point of a glow is to draw attention or make something look sort of more impactful than other places. And if you use it everywhere, then that completely defeats the point. Um, so, glow really easy to do. Use some bright value which in this case is white um, and then I add uh, a little glow from it using a soft brush I just go over it uh, lightly with a soft brush uh, on white or something make it look like it's glowing uh, really effective looks really good um, so I would suggest giving symmetry a try it's not something to uh, learn off very well I would certainly suggest you know going down the, the usual route of just doing studies and um, practicing normally but uh, it's worth giving it a go it's a bit weird I always find I um, that it it's uh, really really quick really fun um, really simple uh, but obviously there are certain things quite a lot of things you can't do with the symmetry tool um, so have a go, but I would not use it exclusively uh, because you won't have the range uh, that 
another artist would. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. The image I thought was pretty cool. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and uh, yeah, as I said, you can find the rest of my stuff. Uh, I've got links and all that in the uh, description below if you're on YouTube. Um, and I'm posting a video every week, so I'll see you next week for the next video. And uh, yeah, just uh, comment, let me know what you think, and uh, I'll reply. I, I, I always reply to my comments if I see them. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye.